Hi everyone. everyone! Welcome back to another video with Wonderful Boys. Well, today we're just checking into Singapore Merit Tank Plaza Hotel. Yep, and this is not our first time back at this property, right? Yep, it's not. So we have a previous review of this property at the Executive Suite. You can check it out at the link above. And also a comparison between the deluxe room as well as the Tank Sokia Suite, mm. which is the highest room category. And you can also find that in the link above. Mm. So Singapore Merit Tank Plaza Hotel um, is located very conveniently, just about three minutes walk away from Orchard MRT. Um, and with that said, a lot of shopping malls around and a lot of food options as well. That's right. So we booked ourselves this uh, pool terrace room, which is located on the pool terrace on level five. And it is actually a very desirable room because there are only nine of these rooms. And out of these nine rooms, only three has a private pool cabana. So we're glad to share with you that we have the pool cabana. Mm. And we're going to show you this uh, particular room. And also uh, tonight's uh, dinner at the M Club. Well, M Club is closed, so they're having it at the Merritt Cafe. And um, of course, tomorrow's uh, breakfast. Mm. So we can't wait to show you around. So shall we? Yep, let's go. Let's head over to the pool terrace now. So pool terrace is really located at level 5 of Merit Singapore Tank Plaza. And uh, there's only about 9 uh, pool terraces, and out of which, right, only 3 of them are with the private cabanas. So let's take a look. So as you can see, right, over here is actually the main pool area. So which means, right, uh, you don't actually need access card to access the lift to this uh, level where the pool terraces are. And over here, that's where our cabana is. Let's go. So this is the pool cabana over here, it's private area, so other people cannot come over here. But don't think you can just jump into the water, eh? you can't dive because this is barely like 15 cm or something. Just be careful when you go into the water. So now, that's the main highlight, which is the room. Oh yeah, before we go in, so this is also a private terrace here, where you can enjoy some tea and snacks while you watch the people play in the pool, can have some uh, reading time also. And if you're scared of hot heat, the fan is there. Let's go. So once you come in the room, on the right side here, you will see a mini bar area. Okay, there's this coffee machine, which is um, not Nespresso. Um, it's a Love Aza, the brand. And capsules, teacups over here. And also, over here, right, that's where you find all your the mini fridge, which is empty, I'm not going to show you. And also tea bags and also um, kettle. Okay. Um, the TV is right beside here, which is a 55 inch TV. Okay. It's huge, so it's just right in front of the king size bed that you're going to see later. Also, some work desk space um, for you to do your workstation. Okay, and also they provide um, alcohol wipes because of COVID situation now. I would think that they should provide a better amenities for this situation. But it's okay. And over here, right, um, the telephone and also the remote control for the TV is over here. Very simple control for reading light or the master on off of the whole room, the lights. Okay. And of course, the big king size bed over here. Um, it should be very comfy. It should be the same as the other rooms as well. And over here, a lounge chair for you to sit and watch TV at the same time. And also, mm -hmm a good time to actually uh, check out the view outside and also uh, to see if it's sunny you want to you know, enjoy the pool or not okay mm -hmm. and next up right that's the one of the main highlights of this room it's the toilet before that we go to the walk-in wardrobe so this is the walk-in wardrobe okay um, you can put your luggage over here some storage space below here and also of course this is where the wardrobe are these uh, standard amenities like hair dryer, safe, uh, safety box, extra pillows, the, wall, uh, the bath rope, the bedroom slipper below as well. And beside here is actually the ironing board, and also the umbrella if you need. Because over here, right, in order to go out, you definitely, if it rains, you definitely suffer to get wet. And um, over here, 
It's a he's in her basin, so you don't have to fight. Amenities are right below, uh, over here. Hidden in the box. Okay, the amenities are actually using uh, this tent. And if you want to soak away your stress, they have bath salt provided as well. Okay, this freestanding bathtub seems quite big, so hopefully I won't slide in like the other hotel. Okay, and over here is the dry area, um, which is the toilet bowl, and over here is the wet area, which um, is the uh, rain shower as well as the hand hot shower. So this toilet actually um, gives the whole room right a very resort style feel because of the natural light that's um, behind the mirror. Yeah, so that's about it for this uh, room tour. But um, if you're too shy to shower uh, in the bathtub or the, the because you can see through from this uh, bedroom area, right? There's actually a curtain that you can draw. There's a button at the side there, a control panel, for you to bring out the blind. But if you're not, if you're okay, you are more adventure, you can actually pull away this door as well. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but um, magic do happen. You just need some pushing. So there you go. I would think this is a better look compared to the metal blind. Yeah. So that's about it for this pool terrace room tour. Oh, one more thing to add is that um, the view here is actually quite nice. So just like I mentioned about resort view, right? So this adds on to the feel as well. You can check out the view of the pool, if people are actually playing there, if it's crowded, and check out the weather, if it's raining, then you probably wouldn't want to head out. And one more thing is that they actually provide us with this uh, welcome amenities. So you can choose the drink between um, sparkling fruit juice, soft drink, beer, and uh, food-wise, it's actually breadstick, chocolate, or the nuts. So talking about food, I'm actually hungry now. And uh, M-Club is closed, but um, we will head out to Marriott Cafe for our dinner. Okay, so we're now at the Marriott Cafe, and this is the alternative to the M-Club, which is closed on a weekdays. So when we're seated, we're given a four-course uh, set menu, and there are a few items, like um, the soup of the day. In this case, this is the uh, corn soup. It comes with uh, bread and butter. And um, for the appetizers, you have um, a choice of a salad or a, in this case a prawn abbey, which looks really nice. For the mains, there, there were two choices. Uh, one is this uh, grilled chicken. It comes with the mashed potato as well as uh, carrots. There's also an option for baked fish with uh, broccoli and potatoes. Looks is also good, right? It's a creamy kind of a sauce. So there's also going to be dessert later. Uh, we're just going to show you a snippet of the dessert. And um, of course, the drinks are free flow here. You can basically order alcoholic drinks and as well as non-alcoholic drinks, uh, like your coffee or your tea. So we're going to enjoy our dinner and we will see you for tomorrow's breakfast. Bye-bye. Okay, hi and good morning. So we are at the Singapore Marriott Tank Plaza Hotel and it's breakfast time. So when we uh, sit at the Marriott Cafe, we get this kind of menu and it's uh, fixed for every single day. So if you stay for consecutive nights, it will still be the same breakfast. Uh, so you have lots of things, um, beverages like your fresh juices, or not, not really fresh, but from the carton, uh, and also coffee and a selection of TWGT. So um, you can have um, bread for starters, some Danish and French pastries. You can also have toast if you would like, white and uh, wholemeal. And um, the American breakfast, um, we have um, a choice of scrambled eggs, like here we have this one. It comes with the grilled tomatoes and potatoes. You can also opt for egg benedict, which is the poached egg on top of either smoked salmon or the ham. Again, a similar size. And my favourite, which is the plain omelette with a chilli crab sauce on top, which is actually uh, quite nice and a bit spicy. You can opt for local delights such as uh, porridge, uh, dim sum, and also uh, roti chanai. We actually love this uh, from our previous visit, and also laksa over here. And you can end off with something sweet like a French toast with uh, some jam, 
and maple syrup, as well as pancakes, buttermilk pancakes, and also freshly baked waffles. So you can also have fruits, uh, cereals, and like this kind of uh, muesli here. So if not, that's about it for the breakfast uh, video, and uh, we will see you later when we wrap up our stay. So bye. Okay, so it's about 4 p.m. and we're just about to check out from our stay here at the Singapore Merit Tank Plaza Hotel. So quick final thoughts, what do you think about our stay? I think overall it's a very good experience. Um, it's Initially I thought, you know, pool terrace, um, like it's inconvenient, you need to go um, from the room to the lift, you know, under the sun and all that. But after staying here, I thought, hey, it's actually quite nice. And I thought I wouldn't use the cabana, mm -hmm. but I like the cabana a lot actually. Yeah, so uh, there are only nine rooms, nine pool terrace rooms, and only three of them has a pool cabana. Two has a direct pool access, like the one that we have here. So you can see behind us immediately is a pool, uh, which makes it nice. Mm. So if you were requesting for a, a pool terrace room, maybe you would want to choose the room number three and room number four. Right. So what about the room itself? The room itself is, um, I would say, it's quite spacious. The toilet may be a little bit, tiny bit of uh, squeezy you feel but overall I like the resort feel because mm. the toilet, um, the bathtub and the natural light it gives me a very uh, relaxing uh, feel. Yeah, that's right. So there's a lot of like a nature kind of uh, inspired mm. uh, theme here. It's a, you, don't, you don't feel like you're in Orchard, the busiest uh, district, yeah. shopping district in Singapore, right? So that's, that's one thing good. Um, and then uh, we also had dinner at mm. the M Club, but the M Club is closed, so we had it at the Merit Cafe, and it was basically like a four set uh, dinner. Mm. And um, how do you find it? The dinner was okay. Um, the selection was um, not a lot, like different from M Club because it's closed, right? So yeah. we had no chance to go to Merit Cafe. Mm. The food was quite nice, um, but I guess the service was not that great, even though there wasn't a lot of people. Yeah, uh, but if you want to know more about the M Club, you can look at our previous videos and um, we actually reviewed the M Club uh, mm. there. Right, so um, we also had the breakfast um, earlier today and uh, the breakfast is like standard every day and the menu doesn't change, uh, yep. whether that's a good or bad thing. Um, if you like it, then it's great, mm. yeah, having a long stay. But if not, then every single day you'll be having the same breakfast. But I thought that it was okay. Yeah, I it think, was okay. Yeah, the spread was quite good. There mm. are lots of local options, there are also American options, and even the pastries and vegetarian options. So that's, that's uh, great. Mm. So I think um, that's all that we have for you for this video. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, of course, uh, subscribe to our channel if you're not already done so. Yep. If not, we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.